Hello, I am Dr. Leslie Klein with Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers, and this talk is intended for the Breast Cancer Support Group, our Lunch and Learn series in 2023. So I was asked to address some really hot topics, some really recurring themes that come up in the support groups. And the question is, why do I have to take endocrine therapy? So I'm gonna narrow this talk down to women who've already completed your local therapy. That means you've already had your surgery and finished your radiation and finished any chemotherapy if your doctor recommends that for you. And so we're talking about the hormone blocker therapy, the endocrine therapy that happens after all that. And I want to narrow it down even more to women who have already been through menopause. So we're going to talk about aromatase inhibitors, which is a great drug for the treatment of hormone positive breast cancer. So I'm really glad to give this question some airtime because if you Google it, the first thing you're gonna to start to read is negative things about it or talking about the side effects, and we'll get to that as well. But first I wanna spend some time just on why do we recommend it? So we, in cancer, we recommend treatments that have more benefit than they do risk for harm. And thankfully with the endocrine therapies, these have been around a really long time and the, the data is so robust. We keep getting more and more years of data with more and more thousands of women um, on trials that we can show over and over again that they do better when they take their hormone blocker. So I wanna talk about breast cancer outcomes. The endocrine therapy improves breast cancer outcomes. And what is a breast cancer outcome? So a few different things. One is if you can take your hormone blocker, it can reduce the risk of developing a recurrence locally, meaning on your chest, breast, or your lymph nodes. It can also reduce the risk of developing a recurrence of your cancer somewhere else in your system. Uh, breast cancer can become a system-wide disease. Sometimes even just microscopic cells can move to somewhere else in your body, and then those locations can become uh, metastasis later on, and so this helps reduce that risk as well. It, so it overall improves survival, which is one of our most important outcomes and quality of life. The other thing it can also help us with is reducing the chance of developing another breast cancer in your remaining breast tissue. And that's something we could get into in a different talk, but even healthy women who are just known to have a high risk for breast cancer, even they can benefit from five years of taking a hormone blocker because it's that safe and effective. How does my doctor know that my type of breast cancer would benefit from endocrine therapy? Well, we the initial studies back in the 70s, we would give it to everybody, but as we've evolved and refined things, we know that women whose breast cancer tests positive for hormones under the microscope are the ones who benefit. So if you have an estrogen receptor or a progesterone receptor on your breast cancer cells, those are the women who are gonna benefit from endocrine therapy. And this keeps being proven to be true in all kinds of hormone positive breast cancer. So if you have a higher stage breast cancer, you can benefit, but even very small tumors, um, even like a grade one tumor, a stage one tumor can still benefit from taking the hormone blocker therapy. So how many years should I take endocrine therapy? That's still something you should talk through with your doctor. The first milestone we like to hit is five years because that's been proven across all cancer types. But beyond that, there are certain things we look at that you and your doctor can work on together to determine how many years you'd benefit. Some women benefit from 10 years or beyond. Another advantage of aromatase inhibitors, endocrine therapy, is that it works in your body to improve those breast cancer outcomes, not only while you're taking it, but also after you stop taking it. And so that's a really amazing thing that we can get the benefits and that they are lasting over the years to come. And since breast cancer can be a very slowly growing disease, we can get recurrences of breast cancer sometimes 10, 20 years after your first diagnosis. And so the hormone blocker that you've taken for those five or 10 years continues to work even beyond that. In summary, your doctor has recommended endocrine therapy because you have a hormone positive breast cancer and you will benefit from taking that hormone blocker therapy for five, 10 years. The benefits can last even beyond when you're taking it. 
the endocrine therapy can help to improve your outcomes while you're taking the medication and even beyond taking the medication. That reduces your risk of ever needing to do a different treatment for breast cancer because it is recurred and reducing the chance of you having a symptom from your breast cancer coming back again. So there's a lot of data that the endocrine therapy can improve your outcomes, help you live better, healthier. So what's the potential downside? I could actually do many talks about this and maybe I will, but there are a few side effects we should inform you of. One, and I'm focusing in on aromatase inhibitors. So one is it can affect your bone density. And so an important part is screening your bones to make sure your bones are strong and supporting them if we need to. Um, it can also potentially affect your cholesterol panel. So that's something to keep an eye on with labs. It can also cause menopause symptoms. So this is the big category. So the question I get is, are all these menopause symptoms worth it? So what are menopause symptoms? So everyone's menopause is different. Um, just as unique as you are, your menopause is gonna be unique. So there's some women you've probably met who've danced through menopause, they don't even know that they had it. And there are some women who are still left with hot flashes many, many years after they're done with their menopause. So just as a big category, menopause symptoms could include body aches and pains, mood changes, sleep changes, um, vaginal dryness, uh, sexual dysfunction. It's a big category, hot flashes, night sweats. But each of these things are areas that we can work on. And so I really encourage you to talk with your doctor, your prescribing doctor, about how you're feeling and which symptoms are bothering you the most so that we can address them. And it does take a little bit of trial and error. Nothing happens that fast with breast cancer endocrine treatments. You, you get on something and it can take several weeks to get the full effect of it or the full benefit of it. And then we try something else. So it sometimes takes a few blocks of six to 12 weeks to work with your doctor to keep fine tuning how you're feeling to control those symptoms. But it's really important that we hear what's bothering you so we can actually address those symptoms. What happens unfortunately commonly is Patients are suffering with the symptoms and they maybe don't feel comfortable telling their doctor or working with their doctor with those symptoms and they just end up stop taking it but they don't tell their doctor. And so I'd really encourage you to do your best to tell your doctor how you're doing because we can't help you if we don't know if you're actually not taking the medication. So all told, thankfully most women do fine on these medications, the vast majority were able to get them to stay on it with extra support. Um, like 96% of women are able to stay on their aromatase inhibitor with support. Because our goal for all of this is to try to squeeze the maximum benefit out of the medication while reducing the potential risk for harm. Another big one that I hear about is body aches and pains, especially with the aromatase inhibitors. So I think it's important to take stock of what are your symptoms like before you even start taking the aromatase inhibitor. Some people are dealing with kind of a chronic daily, you know, nagging um, arthritis pain or body aches and pains, carpal tunnel, that can become more obvious when you get started on the aromatase inhibitor. And so it's really important to pay attention to how much is it affecting your life before you start it and how much is it affecting your life after you've started it because that's how we can start to address what is the underlying cause of it, what can we do to help support you through it. The most important and proven over and over thing that you can do for those body aches and pains is actually to stay active despite the pain. So getting 30 minutes of exercise more days of the week than not can really reduce the severity of your pain. Uh, starting the day by getting your hands active, you do a squeezy ball, um, you know, you can knit, you can crochet, things that keep you active. Um, yoga, uh, walking um, can all be really, really helpful for those joint aches and pains. If that's not enough, you can also take um, over-the-counter um, medications, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen can be really helpful. And beyond that, we know that things like acupuncture can be very helpful and there are still other strategies we can use as we work with you but each of these things does take time and a, a back and forth discussion with your doctor in summary um, endocrine therapy has been a huge improvement 
in breast cancer care over the decades and it's so helpful that we sometimes take for granted what are those benefits. So it's really important that you work with us to help go through any symptoms you may have so that we can support you through staying on the medication or trying alternates. We have a lot of strategies we can do with you. Talking about endocrine therapy is a large topic and there's so many different aspects to it, some of which we've covered in our other Ironwood videos you can check out below. Um, we work together with our integrative medicine colleagues and OBGYNs to help tackle your symptoms. Um, if there's a big response to this video with other questions, I'd be happy to address more specific questions going forward.